Welcome to another Realvolve training video. In this segment, we'll set up a signature for your email templates. In this sample email, you'll see that I have a signature typed into the body of the message. While this will work perfectly fine, there may come a time when you want to make changes to your signature. This becomes a problem when you've accumulated hundreds of templates and each of them have to be manually changed, and it's a huge waste of time. Realvolve has a merge field called Signature. It's the word signature surrounded by double brackets. By inserting this merge field into the body of your template, Realvolve will replace this merge field with the content of a template that has the title of signature. To show how this works, I'll take out the current signature and replace it with a merge field and then save this template. When you begin using Realvolv, each user of your system should have a basic signature template already installed. To find your signature, simply type in the word signature in the search field. If for some reason you don't have this template, simply click on the new template button and create a new one. Place the word signature in the title, set the use with to contact, and the subject can be anything you want as a default. In this case I just have signature. Edit your signature as desired, adding photos, logos, links, you can change fonts, font sizes and colors, just whatever you need. Once you have the signature the way you want, press the save button located at the bottom of the template editor. At this point you're all set up. Anytime that a template uses the merge field signature, it will replace that merge field with the template that you set up with the title of signature. Make sure that you only have one template set up with the title of signature, otherwise you might get mixed results. Your signature can contain any combination of photos, logos, and formatted text as you need. You can also insert HTML by clicking on the Edit HTML icon on the upper right hand corner of the toolbar. This allows you to see the HTML format of this signature. You can paste in the information if you need to from another source. Once you have your signature the way you want it to look, scroll down to the bottom and click Save. As a side note, you'll notice that I do have multiple signatures in my system. I only have one of them named Signature. The other ones have numbers at the end. I can change the title of any particular signature in order to make it the default. If you have any other questions, send us an email or visit our help desk. Have a great day.